All right, we are heading out. We actually just finished putting our luggage. We are putting Millie in her kennel. Look at her. She's not a big fan of road trips. Um, we are heading to Austin. It's about a five hour drive. We're ready to go. We are all packed. Um, we're going to Growth Day Conference. This is the first time we've ever gone. So we are super, I think it's the first ever, Hector's telling me. It's the first ever growth conference and we are about to head out um wanna we're gonna go ahead and vlog that road trip we're gonna vlog the experience just everything we're super excited to you know a lot of great speakers we're excited to head out there and hit the road what are you excited about where you at though all the speakers at my leg so i'm probably most excited for getting there safely obviously yes we're excited to learn we're excited to grow we're excited to get some positivity in our lives and we are ready to hit the road. All right, we are half, no, we're not halfway. We're like about two hours in. Oh, we just stopped to get some Popeyes. <laughs> All right, we just got to Austin. Hey. We're heading over to our check-in, my leg. <laughs> Just so you know, I have a, my legs a bit of hurting for the last couple of days, so I'm kind of walking with a dip. But we're heading over to check in. So, we'll catch you later. checked in literally the check-in took like less than five minutes we got to select our lanyard color hey. what'd you say hey seeing green seeing green <laughs> that's how we got green and then we got our journal a book we're excited i was so nervous oh yeah so we got his book Brennan Burchard's the journal with a pen is it pen which one is it <laughs> Show the, What's the journal. Oh, yeah, the journal. And it's With a pen. It's super nice. And it says Growth Girl Day. And then his magazine. Boom. Oh, we ready? I'm coming. A little pain in the butt. <laughs> Who's a scared dog? <laughs> Who's a scared dog? <laughs> Who just likes elevators? <laughs> Three, two, one. Let's go. This is unfamiliar. What? Hi, get up. You happy? Happy camper. Oh, baby. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Oh, I'm like, I'm just gonna let it run out. <laughs> Little refrigerator. Little microwave. Ready to go. All right, we literally just checked into the hotel, took a quick shower, changed, and we're headed to go see Joe Rogan tonight. Hey. First time at his comedy club. It's a comedy mothership, so we're on our way, we're heading there, waiting on our Uber. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, 419. 419. Alright, good morning. I'm using my cool little mic. 
I've had this forever and I never used it, so I don't really know if it works. Mic check one, two, one, two. Anyways, um, we went to the comedy mothership yesterday. It was freaking hilarious. We love the show. Uh, our first time there. Just I love that um, we well, you get to walk in. You have to put your phones up. You put it in a bag. Your phone watches everything. So um, it's, it wasn't weird at all. Like I think it lets you be in the moment. Just kind of just taking it all in everybody's sitting side by side everybody's laughing you know having a good time and it's like none of this cancel shit like it's just like real like funny you know knowing that it's comedy it's not true you know like not people yelling or like getting offended like it was it was awesome i had a great time what about you oh man super hilarious every every comic every comic was freaking awesome i had a good fucking time it just takes you out like it yeah. takes you out of like i don't know if we were in the mothership okay so we we're out of this world i'm just kidding but it, like it does like you just kind of like just laugh and have a good night so it was great the show was awesome super fun super i'd go again if Heck yeah. we try to we we're trying to get tickets for today yeah but it's sold out today 420 friends <laughs> 420 friends it's sold out. Yeah, there's a lot of traffic. The conference is in Austin, Texas. Right now, the day's kind of gloomy, kind of. Yeah, it's like nice and fresh. Um, it looks, it's like sprinkling. Just kind of gets you a vision of where we're at today. Um, it's nice, gloomy, fresh. Like it just, whew, like you came outside and it was just like a breath of fresh air. It was, it was nice, and we're excited. Um, this is the first time that we've attended a Growth Day conference. Uh, Hector Simon, this is the first one ever. So that's. Yeah, we think it's the first one they've ever done. So we'll kind of like talk about like the whole process. Yesterday, the check-in process was super easy. Um, we showed up literally maybe like 30 minutes before we were supposed to. Um, I mean, I'm sorry, 30 minutes before like it ended um, because we drove in from out of town. We literally drove in, uh, got off went checked in and the process was so smooth like we just went like you know we asked where it was because obviously we didn't know like where it was located so we had to ask one of them and they're like oh yeah fourth floor so we go up there and literally walked right up the guy was like nice he greeted us he gave us our badges our we got a badge a book a journal and then a magazine um so yeah we'll definitely be using that journal to uh, write down as many notes as we can today but it was it was awesome it was like it was just another experience um it was like we're excited to see what's what we're gonna learn today the speakers uh we don't know what speakers are going to speak on what days but uh, i'm sure it's gonna be great um it is the conference is from nine to seven uh we do get a lunch between one and three so again like we'll be vlogging uh we'll talk about when we get our lunch kind of what we learned those first few hours uh but other than that right now we're driving how do you feel how do you feel feel good I feel good ready to learn see the first growth day and i'm excited so we're excited we're like so ready to learn i think we need this literally i feel like we need this in our lives right now it's the perfect time perfect moment uh especially like what we're working on what we've been working on this past year and like uh, again like we're just ready to take in what we're, we have to learn and what these speakers have to tell us and what they have to share with us and all of their advice so we're ready we're ready for growth day number one my little mic. Mic check one two one two. One of my good friends and one of the most talented people I know, Brendan Bashar, is one of the most successful coaches. Good morning. We are on day two, going on day two right now. We're actually driving to make it to the conference day two, growth day. Uh, yesterday, we were, uh, there was a lot of traffic in the morning. Uh, we're staying about 20 ish minutes away from the hotel where the conference is being held at, but it was just traffic was a little backed up. Um, just note to self the parking lot, if you're not there like super early, it will um, 
it was overflowing so we had to find another parking spot there's one right across the street i'm not sure if in the future they'll be holding the conference at the same location but if so the parking lot is on second street i would recommend parking on that side um, it was like not as full and we were able to get in and find a place to park also when we got there the conference was scheduled to start at nine but um i guess there was a delay so we were in luck it was a great day <laughs> uh right when we had got in there uh the door started to open so the way that you find your doors when you get there they give you a lanyard i don't know hold on let me grab my lanyard well you get to decide you actually get to decide what color of lanyard you want we went with green um but they have different colors they have like purple they have black blue uh green and then uh, it says growth day on the lanyard but you get to choose your color so the reason for your lanyard is because um, each door has a different banner on top so that's kind of like how they organize the whole event uh, depending on the color lanyard you are that's the line that you'll get in uh, into the conference so they basically start opening up the doors and you start walking in with your group with lanyard but the seating arrangements it's open seating so you basically find the first seat available to you and then you sit down there the only people that have early access are the vips they have a different color lanyard i believe it's black and gold and white like gold white mixed together um, but those are the people that get like first dibs on the seats but i mean other than that like i think we found pretty decent seats uh, especially after lunch we our, our door was open like a lot sooner so we were able to get in so that's kind of a little bit of the process in the morning of what happened but uh the conference opened up with brendan and he obviously always brings the fire especially like right in the morning you know his energy and he's just getting us all hyped stretching breathing <laughs> you know just getting that energy flowing in the room uh the other speaker was ed mylet uh the reason we've been following ed mylet we kind of takes it back we have we followed Andy Frisella, which he kind of introduced us to Ed Milet, I feel that, like, right? What'd you think? Day one, conference. Oh, man, it was off the wall. It was freaking awesome. Way more than what I would have expected, for sure. It was amazing. Like, we've uh, we've seen Ed Milet in September in Funnel Hackers, and he changed up his story, but he kind of shared his story with his dad, and all the time like that story gets us like it just and h himself just in general as a speaker if you never got a chance to see him like definitely recommend or check out his podcast because he's amazing and just super inspirational and just in general man like everything like day one has already exceeded our expectations so we can't wait what day two has in store for us but if you're looking for um something that surprised me and i think you he could agree sorry where he's driving but um something that brandon shared was that five percent of people invest on themselves like only five percent of people for personal growth like anything like a self-development book a card sorry my phone keeps cutting me off but um brendan makes us break out into groups of five and basically the questions that he makes us ask ourselves are super simple but it's questions that we don't tend to ask ourselves like on a daily basis or we don't even think about like um for example like what was on the first group like well of course like an introduction who are you um what are you most grateful for like just questions again that like super simple but you kind of have to stop and think about what it is and then the fact that not only are you having to stop and think but share these with complete strangers like it really is a real humbling experience like you know what do you need help with um like how do you envision yourself what did you see um what are you working towards like just again like very simple so don't be afraid because sometimes i feel like we do need these like reminders or to do these sorts of activities to grow right again this whole conference is about growth um and if we are not doing the uncomfortable things if we're not meeting new people then like how do you expect to grow you know we're going to stay in the same spot that we kind of were in the first place so yeah we're definitely taking this conference and running with it um learning a lot of new things a lot of new uh ways to make give ourselves energy you know we're within like the energy that we project um so just in general just just loving the whole conference again day one was amazing uh, a lot of little techniques that he showed us a lot of great 
things that we're taking notes on and running with uh, and again the best thing is just meeting new people hearing their stories because a lot of times like we tend to think that we're the only people feeling these things we tend to think that oh man like it's only me but like when you start talking to other people like we all have the same fears we all have the same things that we're self-conscious about and you know once you start talking about it, it kind of makes it a little bit more normal like okay like I'm not alone so again these sorts of conferences and stuff like do help just kind of develop that like sort of confidence that we're all looking for so i don't know great amazing day one i cannot say anymore we're excited for day two to know who the speaker is um, but what do you think about like your first self-development conference oh man way out of my comfort zone for sure right off the bat right off the bat once he started saying group groups of five i was like, oh, oh break restroom break <laughs> yeah I mean, so it was no but it was good it was good in 1.6 miles forced myself to go first which I probably normally wouldn't have done. And I didn't just give like some half-assed answers I would have just normally gave. Like I'm, I'm trying to take it as serious as possible. Yeah. Cause, gotta take the money serious. Yeah. It's true. So we're excited day two, we're almost there. We're about to find some parking and we'll let you know. We'll probably try to record during lunch just so it's kind of fresh in our minds and kind of what we learned that first half of the the conference and then yeah like but other than that if you this is a first growth day conference um well we're left definitely already i think looking forward to next year if there is one and if you want to do something like this i definitely 100 percent recommend because like it's life-changing and like just cannot wait for the next few days that was day one i cannot say any less about it and just excited for the next few days Three, go!